Oh, OK. That's pretty good. He just gave up. Man, he just, he tried to fire. There was nothing there. He, he couldn't fire. At least put your hands out, make it look you diving like hell. The hill. other kid's form is adorable. Nothing goes and you weak. <laughs> Man, I ain't got no calves, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, let me ask you something, man. I heard a rumor that you have the ability to get a full night's sleep in five minutes. <laughs> well, I, since I don't sleep on a regular cycle, it's like whenever no one talks to me, I could just literally just... <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> See if you can, let's put him down. Yeah, everybody... Shh. <laughs> Do you have a name for it or no? Disco nap. Disco nap? <laughs> I love it. I'll tell you what, I'm changing the name of this category. I call it micro naps, but we're gonna change this in post. Disco naps. If I got a DJ later, I'm gonna try to sleep real quick. I'm out. I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm gonna get a little. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm done eating. I'm gonna chill for a little. I'll tell you, you wanna, well, let's get another bite. Let's get another bite. No. Oh, yeah, just another rest. Take a nap and I'm gonna do 10 more. Okay, good. I right, hear good. <laughs> Tell Johnny, I love Tim. <laughs> do you believe in the supernatural? You know I believe in ghosts. Oh, yeah. I like, I've been followed by ghosts my whole life. She says that like it moves with her. <laughs> It does. I've had like five different beds, and they all do the same little tapping sound. Random. That sounds like sex. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, look, this category is proof that the supernatural is real. It's called the snatching. Take a look. I just caught myself a baldy. <laughs> We're really attached to each other. Get me out. Oh, man. <laughs> How is he grabbing him? That was like a devil dog that just said, you're coming with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he taunting the water, though? Come get me, you pussy ass Poseidon. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh no! That looks so scary. How did you get? The sea's a bit of a catty bitch. <laughs> they didn't go after her at all. They just watch it, just float away. She was never seen again. <laughs> It was never seen again. Don't do it, Kent. It's a trick fish. Oh, gotcha. Oh, got you. What the? Yeah, it looks like somebody fishing in a fish tank. <laughs> I never don't come home with a fish. <laughs> I'm just looking for some cars to take. You're coming with me. Oh, no. And that's how cars disappear. We'll be right back with more ridiculous noise. Okay. Goes without saying that we all know that duct tape is the greatest invention in the history of modern man. Okay. okay. Not only What's that. the most creative way you've used duct tape to help your life forward? Well, this oh. is a stupid way. So I broke my pinky yeah. once, and that's why it's like crooked um, still. And then you just taped it? And I tried, to, I, I was like, I'm gonna just, you know, put like a little splint on and just duct tape it. <laughs> and I duct taped a pencil to my pinky so it'd stay straight, but it didn't work, and now I have a messed up pinky. <laughs> look, look, it's, it doesn't matter if it worked, duct tape was there for you. Okay. It was. And duct tape is there for everybody, just like in this category right here, all ducked up. Take a look. Wow. Man, we're just gonna hang up here and party. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think they've made better use of duct tape yeah. than I did. It's like the Midwest Spider Man came to see them. <laughs> like, this is really hard to execute. Double man duck bunk bed? It's like a cocoon. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, hey. I'll be here all night. What happened? First of all, your feet are not that big, are they? Man. That's a clown shoe right there. <laughs> Legitimately a duct tape clown. I'm fine. 
He ordered new shoes. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. Tell you what's not gonna happen. This trunk ain't coming open. Okay, all right. Prepare. I thought his car was broken. He's just hauling something. Yeah. You're never even gonna get this thing out. <laughs> okay, Tank, you recently got married. Uh, 18 years together before you got married. What? How beautiful well, was it? it to... well, no, it was 18. I I've known her for left. 18 years. Oh, okay. She, she was a dancer in my first video 18 okay. years ago. And okay. so back off and on, all you know, right. I've liked her, she's like me, we've liked other people, now we like each other only. Now we like each other only. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and, and how beautiful was that wedding? It was amazing. amazing. It was it was amazing. Um, I was there. Was there. I was, was there. there. It was amazing, man. We oh, danced. Oh, yeah? Not me and Stilo, yeah. but yeah, we danced. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and it was it was like changing. Well, look, 18 years later from that very first video, uh, you got married, so it was definitely worth waiting for, just mm. like every one of these videos. Worth waiting for. <laughs> Construction soccer. Here comes Jim. Always had a good leg. I got soft touch. They call me Softy Steve. Okay. Here comes old dumb Daryl. And he really kicked it like he meant it too. He did. He's like, he was like, I played soccer when I was in the seventh grade. I'm really accurate. Woo! I've been doing work. construction. I lift houses for a living. I got the tightest abs for the big homie. Uh, uh, yeah. That's dope, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Makes him feel good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta be the modern era for sure. Okay, we're not going through time right now because this is just a normal. Oh, my God. Bro. That, you can't be covered by a shirt. No, you can't. For man. a chariot? Ain't nobody covering a chariot, bro. <laughs> So what happened? Uh, Maximus came running through here, man. Hit me up. Hit me up. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, okay. not in your future. What are you listening? What are we listening? <laughs> Imagine him getting pumped to this. for worth waiting for. Kurt, talk about the NASCAR fans compared to all other sports fans. Oh my, we have the most fanatical fans. I mean, body paint, their favorite driver, they will drive endless hours to get to the race, and then they don't stop partying when they get there. They don't, right? Like, you party yourself, like, through <laughs> qualifiers, through whatever, the early races. It's like, because how long is the whole race weekend? Like, three or four days? Yeah, three, four days, and uh, they take a nap during the race because they've partied so right. hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a specific name? Our fans? Yeah. No, not okay. a real All like, right. specific well, look, name. But... I, I think we've come up with a name that might make a little bit of sense. Uh, we call it Trackheads. Take a look. I like that. I like that. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hey. He got a fanny pack and a gun holster, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what he's ready for. You don't know I what he's ready for. for. I mean, I got to believe this is for, like, my valuables, my wallet and my tickets, and this is for beer. <laughs> Real barrel racing. Okay, all right, okay. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Man. Oh. Could you flick somebody off and they would see it while oh, you yeah. drive? Oh, it happens all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ain't that you better run like hell, though, when you do it. Right. <laughs> See, that's why you gotta go to the race so you can feel it. He feels you it. Feel it. <laughs> that's really what it feels like, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Yes. He's having the most relaxing weekend ever. Everybody be jelly ahead. I invented the hover around, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Based on that for me. <laughs> 
No, no, no. I didn't invent the hover round, but I certainly improved it. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Yes, sir. Come on. But nobody reacts. Like, this is some normal NASCAR right here. Like, no one tries to break it up. Everybody's yeah. like, yep. No, don't sell this. Hey, go back. Are they listening to the, what are they doing? <laughs> they got the scanner on. They're listening to the drivers. Yeah. Oh, yeah? You can listen into the teams, yeah. But this guy's not listening into the teams. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you're trying to tell me that everything you say, people have an opportunity to listen to? Yes. Oh, yeah. Every cuss word, every team communication, yes. It's yeah. all oh, open. Yeah. That's dope. Wow. And I haven't figured out how to get paid from it yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's take a look at a tweet that you tweeted. <laughs> Made a new word, and it's the most used new word in 2017. I made man. that part up, though. Right oh, there. what? <laughs> this was 100% made up, man? The internet will get you, man. I got fake news over here. <laughs> like, in my mind, this legitimately is in the dictionary right now. No, it might be. It probably it is, though. The dictionary and, like, it kids are in is. school, like, using it right now. Like, teachers are like, no, that's fine. You can blend it all together if you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's really how far I took it. Well, look, you know, like it or not, you did create an entirely new word. So we decided to dedicate a category to people that also created some words. We call them word birthers. Take a look. Come on, Marvin said, don't be giving that you produce it to anybody. To po po uh, what? Producey? What? <laughs> I done heard that one before. Yeah, me too. That one's kind of good. To po po producey? What? <laughs> Ah, uh, wah? What does that say, Anaya? Wah? <laughs> no! Wah? She funny. Wah? She funny. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Let it go. It's Water Malone. It's out of Water Malone. Yeah, Water Malone. Malone. Man. Man. man, it sounds Malone's better. Malone's brother? It what just sounds mean? better, man. It's Water Malone. It's out of Water Malone. You <laughs> sound better. Uh, what, is, what is that on your face? Bacalene. What? Bacalene. That's a heen. <laughs> what is it? Bacalene. <laughs> Man, it's because his face is just steaming. <laughs> he can't even talk. <laughs> they got a new thing called Frisha, free, free Shavakadu. <laughs> hey, there free you go, Free Shavakadu, <laughs> right here on Ridiculousness. We'll be back. Did you ever scare a man and hear him scream like a girl? My brother? Yeah. <laughs> Can yeah. you describe it? Uh, it's quite satisfying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, it feels like you unleash something that they're like totally hiding from everyone. It's like their deepest, darkest secret. What does it usually sound like? It's not like a scream. It's not like they intend, it's not like their vocal cords can do that. It's not from their vocal cords. It is a demon inside their stomach <laughs> that just decides to unleash itself when it feels fear. Okay. Really, it's quite grand, actually. Look. <laughs> it is. We decided to dedicate an entire category to it. We describe it as man -shees. Take a look. man -shees. Yeah. That look, was the demon. The demon comes out and he goes right back to cool. He's like, come on, bro. Dude, what the Oh great. Now I gotta start over. <laughs> <laughs> bro, look how small that bug is. Look how small that Where's bug the is. Bug? Right. Right. You can barely see it. Bug? Oh my god. Get it, get it! Well, goddamn moving box. Okay, stay there. I'll bring you. <laughs> oh! Just a grown man looking for candy. <laughs> <laughs> He's way too old to be trick or treating. Yeah, okay. I think he might be getting candy for his kid. No. I'm just guessing by his structure, he's going for his own candy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Okay. He was definitely watching porn in there. <laughs> okay. Man, he got through all types of emotions. Because he's thinking, like, does she hear everything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are a horrible sister. We'll be right back with more Scared If You're Listening.
All right, Gary, as a stand-up comic, have you ever just had like somebody that you got into such a hysteria uh, that they just almost sounded like they had asthma? I, I had a guy last month just, just knock out, was laughing and was out. Like laughing so hard like, that he was passed out. out? He passed out. I put it on my Instagram because he was out in the front row. I just stopped my show and started videotaping him. <laughs> Did somebody, I mean, did he have a heart attack? Did he no, die? We had, there was a, actually a doctor two seats down, and she came over and checked his pulse <laughs> to make sure he was OK. Because they were just laughing and just went out. He was like, ah <laughs> Man. <laughs> well, everybody in this next category are laughing so hard, they almost die. We call it laugh asthma. Take a look. <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh, the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Just come on. Like, why'd you try to take the shortcut on your Segway in the rain, in the mud? Was it a race? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Kill yourself. My boy in here getting fitted for my wedding. Let's get it. That's one thing. I'm gonna be a little, I'm gonna be a little slimmer by then, though. <laughs> no. I lose some of this. I yeah. get 188 down the. 188. Yeah. Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> go to the back. Oh you my were so god, ready. that is so funny. Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey, yo. <laughs> there you have it for laugh asthma. Vegan, <laughs> one of. Uh, more incredible moments when you landed the very first 360 on a motorcycle. Yeah. No one had ever done it. Yeah. You had never done it. And then you were like, f it, here we are. <laughs> we're at the X Games, the biggest stage. If I'm going to win this, shit, I got to go at least try. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and how did you end up doing it? Went to X Games and it was coming down the last few runs and we're getting ready to drop in. I'm like, Man, I'm second on the board. I ain't gonna win. And I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta go for it. I probably ain't gonna land this thing, but at least the medics are right there. Like for real. And I go, we got cameras over here, so we're at least gonna get this on film. And, the, and they're just throwing the red flag, which means runs almost over. I come around, I just see the ramp, and I go and I look over my shoulder and just hang on. And it was like an eternity. And I landed off the side of the landing, 50-50 the landing and rode out of it. And then that was history, right? And then it boom, right there is the 360. And, yeah, yeah. Well, look, you got it. You got the gold medal for doing the 360. Everybody in this next category did not. And they did not, they did not make the full rotation. We call it 359s. Take a look. OK. Spin it off. That was the easiest 360 ever. Zero spinning skills. Did not land it. All you got to do is jump straight up. He jumped at an angle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Man. Did he pee himself? I don't know. He might have sprayed and prayed. <laughs> prayed and prayed. Yeah. Okay. Look out, Deb. I'm going to spin you. Oh, bro. I mean, literally. How'd you guys meet? Well, I saw your mother do a backflip in the middle of the bar from across the room. I was like, I gotta get over there and spin her. <laughs> Slammed her right on her head. We were face to face. We've never left each other since. <laughs> You're like too stiff. Okay. okay. Oh. Here we go. Spin it. Oh! I cracked my tooth. Oh, I cracked my tooth. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> guess what? You hit a 359, you might lose some teeth. Let's talk about. Meat. 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 Yeah, okay. What <laughs> is we going the with this? greatest meat that money can buy? Filet mignon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Steak. Okay, filet mignon. But yeah. what is the most versatile meat there is? Man, I don't know where you want me to go with this. You don't gotta... <laughs> look, I want you to, to look inside yourself and say, when I think about versatile meats, what is the most versatile meat I eat? Um, is this a setup? <laughs> I'm not. 
uh, chicken? Is that what y'all wanted? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, is this a chicken thing? Cause you keep, cause you keep looking at me right now. <laughs> you keep looking at me, right man. Ch uh, I like chicken. Chicken's good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's versatile. <laughs> okay, well look, this next category is dedicated to those that have a deep passion for chicken. We call them cluck boys. Take a look. <laughs> Man, I just love him, man. But this girl loves chicken way too much. Look at her in the corner. <laughs> Make some noise! Yeah! Chicken! Whoa! Oh, I used to do this as a kid. <laughs> like get stuck in the refrigerator. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Like you come down, you're like, what the f is that noise? Yeah. And you find little Joey in the actual refrigerator. <laughs> How much? <laughs> we got enough one. Yeah, keep playing with me. We got enough one coming. One's got jumping Chicken on. Chicken sandwich. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'll take it. Oh, oh no. She woke up. Oh, oh no. Man. Give it back. Okay. Okay. Bro. Uh, oh, he loves chicken so much. He's we'll be so right cute. back with more ridiculousness. How important are the calf muscles? Very important. Depends on what you're doing, but they're very important. I mean, how important are they to you? They're, they're important. I'm actually slacking on my calves right now, so I'm very embarrassed. Oh, really? I, I've, been, I've been seeing comments being like, you've been skipping leg day. Like, oh, like, People like girls that? I don't know. I guess my legs are very stickish, so I need to work on my calves more. Well, look, you, you work on those calves, and, and you might be jumping up onto stuff unexpectedly, OK? <laughs> but some people, uh, their calves just are never going to work, and they're always going to never be able to use them or know what it's like to have great, strong calves. We call them crappy calves. Take a look. <laughs> Little Joey's one of calves his whole life. You got it, Kia. You got it. You got it. Oh, man. man. How, how did his brain even process that? Man. And he was like, this is how you jump into a pool, backwards. <laughs> oh, I got these crappy calves. <laughs> OK, here we go. These are going to work. I got myself a trampoline because my calves are weak. Uh, basketball trampoline? Yeah. I have not. There used to be a show called Slam Ball that I used to watch all day. Yeah. I used to want to do this yeah. But not like this, though. This is a... Slam Ball is only fun if you got strong calves. God, oh, oh, bro. Here I go. My calves don't fail me now. Oh, oh, oh no. What Man. calculation, baby. What like... She need glasses, bro. How she jump? <laughs> She missed Man. it. <laughs> Legitimately. I mean, you need glasses, not new calves. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. So you have messed me up. I got weak shins. That should have killed me right there. <laughs> you hit my shins, boy, I'll act like I got shot. <laughs> that <laughs> kills me. <laughs> oh, okay. That's pretty good. Man, he just, he tried to fire. There was nothing there. He, he couldn't fire. At least put your hands out, make it look like you diving like hell. The other kid's form is adorable. Oh, thank God, it's a new week. <laughs> Man, I ain't got no calves, mama. <laughs> there you have it for crappy calves. <laughs>